Welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad, the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Since I last shared a devotion with you, and that was on Friday, a lot has happened in this country and around the world. And I come to you today feeling overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed at the level of hatred. I am overwhelmed at the level of violence. I am overwhelmed at the lack of empathy for one another. Have you noticed how over the last, it feels like a decade, but it could be longer, that we've become a either or type of generation? You either like my side or you are a heretic. You either support me or you are damned forever. And to me, we have severely, severely missed the whole point that God is trying to give us. And in times like these, I go back to the Bible to try to find my way, to find the boat that I can climb in during this raging water. And first couple of verses that I reached out to today come from Matthew. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. When do we stop doing that? When did we, and I am going to assume that many of you who are watching this right now are Christian or believers of God or want to know more about Jesus. So I'm speaking to you. When did we stop doing that? When did we become a people that stopped caring about the other and our neighbor? When did we become a place of walls and silos and separation and only wanting to be with people who think the exact same way that we do? I think this is a time for all of us to repent. And to repent means to turn away from where we are going. And where we are going, I am not very confident it's going to lead to a happy ending. I think the one thing that I get out of all this is that our country is broken, but it can be fixed. But it takes you and it takes me to reach out not with fists, but with hands to hold on to one another and with ears to hear our stories and hear about how our lives have helped shape who we are. So when did we stop loving our enemy? When did you stop? And are you ready to start again? Remember what Jesus told us to do and do it, please. See you tomorrow for another God's Minute.